everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a few weeks since I've done a video because I have just been super busy with work and with my fiance being away over in England to visit his family and I have been waiting for my next Violet Box to come which I'm super excited about but um, it hasn't come but I have actually um, purchased some products recently that I really love and um, I had some that I haven't loved including some of the products from last Violet Box um, so I thought that I would share so I'm here with my cup of tea, Harley Davidson, they do the best mugs. And my Hundreds of Thousands biscuits, which are amazing. Nom nom. Okay, so this is Loves and Loathes, plus a few products which I've picked up within the last week. So I will start with the Loathes because I always have the best to last. The first one is from my last Violet Box and uh, it has become loath because I just don't know what to do with it and I uh, just haven't been all that impressed with it and that is the Chella Cinnamon Eye Pencil and this is it here and it is in cinnamon colour and that is what it looks like on the skin. It is a very creamy pencil um, and I think in the, um, it says Hello Beautiful Eyes which is really cool but it says on the card that it was for highlighting, outlining and concealing blemishes or something. Now everybody else that I've seen, most people that I've seen, got the Ivory Lace pencil. And that is the one that I was hoping to get, and I think possibly should have got. Um, and it is like a creamy, shimmery white. Um, I've seen another review of the July Violet Box, and somebody else got that colour. And yeah, I got the cinnamon, and I don't know what to do with it because it's a really creamy pencil, which means it's not that good for eyebrows. And my eyebrows are super dark anyway. And as you can see, this is like a. There we go. It's like a uh, reddish light brown. Yeah, so I just don't know what to do with it. Um, this is absolutely useless to me, which is so disappointing because I was really looking forward to that product. It was the sneak peek for the July um, Violet Box. So. I think I'll probably just end up maybe giving that away. My sister might get some use out of it because she's a bit lighter in eyebrows than me. But I don't know if that would even work for eyebrows because it's so creamy. It's like it's supposed to go on skin, not on eyebrows or in eyebrows. So I might end up actually throwing that away, which is so disappointing. But I know, what do you do? Um, you don't fill out a questionnaire with Violet Box, um, so you don't get to say what skin type you have, what skin uh, colour you have, you're a light, medium, dark, whatever, um, what hair colour you have, you just basically rely on what they give you, um, which I kind of like, because it's nice to get a surprise, but when you get something like this, which everybody else got ivory lace, and it said ivory lace on the card, and I got a weird light cinnamon colour, so so yeah, it is the colour of cinnamon. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to do with it, so that is definitely not a good one. The second product is also from the July Violet Box, and <laughs> this was a huge disappointment because I was so looking forward to this as well. This is the So Susan Flutter Mascara. And as you can see, the packaging is so pretty. There's a little hummingbird on it. Um, it says skincare color performance. And this is the wand. And so as you can see, it's, it's quite a small one. But I found this mascara so bad in every way. I found it really unbuildable. Um, I wore it to my friend's house and she said, it doesn't look like we're even wearing anything. Um, but the worst thing is the formula is so wet. 
Now I have hooded eyes, as you can see, when I have my eyes open, you can't actually see my eyelids or the crease of my eyes. Um, it's a weird thing and it's a real pain in the butt. Um, so mascara tends to get up here and I have quite long eyelashes so it goes down on my under eyes as well. And I wore this home from the gym and as I left the gym, the girl kind of looked at me a bit funny. I thought, why are you looking at me funny? And then I got home and I saw it was all done under my eyes. I thought, oh goodness. Now I've had another mascara, a Napoleon one that was like that, um, but I just used to have to wait a little bit and then it would be fine. So I cleaned up my under eyes, put this back on, and you know, really gave it lots and tried to build it up and it didn't build much, so I thought, okay, well, we'll just see how this goes. And then from the time it took me to put this on, grab my bag and walk down to my car, which is, it's not that far, but you know, it, a normal mascara would have dried in that time. It hadn't dried and it got even worse all under my eyes and on top of my eyes and it was horrible. And so I got to my friend's house and she said, oh my God, what happened to you? Second, second thing is I was given this um, Eco Tan to review. And this is quite a hot product. This is called the Winter Skin. And so it build, it's supposed to build a beautiful gradual tan. That's what it looks like. It's got a wee pump. And as I say, I was given this. And it's by Sonia Driver. And it has no hidden nasties. It's for fairest to olive skin. So, I mean, I've got quite fair skin. That tan, tan's okay, but it's mostly fair. I don't like to sit in the sun. And it's got a whole bunch of good stuff like aloe vera, leaf juice, um, grapes extract, chamomile. Yeah, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. This though, it smells. Okay, smell it. Mm. It smells amazing. Kind of. I don't think it has actually any orangey stuff in it, but it smells like the orange vitamin C tablets. It's a really nice citrusy. Let me double check that. It's a really nice citrusy, um, kind of almost sweet smell. Very very moisturising and dries really quickly. Um, I had a friend who tried it and she said that she had to rub it in because it was quite patchy, but I didn't notice actually any of that. But I. Um, Put this on for about four or five days and the color payoff was nothing as in you could look at I put it on one of my legs and not the other and you looked at my legs and they looked the same there was no difference it was yeah that was a bit disappointing too so yeah I'll probably keep using that as a moisturizer because it is moisturizing and smells amazing but if you want a gradual tanner Go get yourself some Johnson & Johnson holiday skin or something because that's not worth it. It's quite expensive too. Last product is it's kind of a loathe but as you can see I've used up most of it. It wasn't that bad. It was just it's just a supermarket hair oil thing from Schwarzkopf. It's supposed to be with caring precious oils and so it has sunflower seed oil uh, Agania Spinoza, Ag Agania oil, um, yeah, some other stuff. It's just, it's average. I wouldn't rush out and buy it again. I think I got it with a voucher, that's why I had it. And now we're on to the loves. And my first love, I can't get enough of this product. I can't say how great it is. Uh, there are no words to describe it. It is the, ooh, let me slide forward, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I get the gel because I have um, oily combination skin, um, but I imagine that the moisturizing lotion is just as good and I can't say enough good things about this product. I've had some beauty therapists, you know, whenever I go get a, ma a facial, which isn't very often, they say, you know, what are you using? They try and get me to use other stuff. 
and I try it but I always come back to the Clinique um, I can use this more than once a day it doesn't make me break out it's just wow I yeah amazing next one um, this is obviously the one I haven't used but um, I got a two sachets of this in the violet box and I really liked this I have um, one sachet does about two face masks so I really liked that it's very moisturizing um, but not too it didn't break me out which um, shows that it's probably more balancing rather than just a whole bunch of moisture because it's purifying as well so that makes sense and also it wasn't too you know how some of those clay masks this is this this has kaolin clay some of them are really almost like a cement this one was not like a cement it was just like a nice creamy kind of face mask that um, yeah just dried and I just rinsed it off and it was really lovely so yeah I will probably buy that by the jar of that when I've used this one uh, next one is the Burt's Bees Almond Milk Beeswax Hand Cream. I love this stuff. I was given it to my, I was given it by my mum um, because it's a bit too thick for her. But I have really dry hands. Oh, it's super dry. Oh, by the way, that um, the bruising and bleeding on my knuckles. I um, <laughs> I have a mosaic mirror and I accidentally brushed against it. It's got tiny little squares of um, mirror and they're quite sharp on the ends and I was catching the ends of makeup brushes and my hands on it and last night I really caught my hands so today that mirror is coming down because I am done cutting myself on it so yeah definitely recommend that one probably as an overnight treatment because it is a bit greasy um, but yeah it's super thick super moisturizing so yeah put it on at night and just let it do its magic and last but not least here's a few products that I uh, purchased recently on a website called Beauty Bliss. Now this is an amazing website. They do uh, Lime Crime, Eyes, Lips, Face, otherwise known as ELF, um, China Glaze Nail Polish, uh, Real Techniques Brushes. Uh, what else do they do? Um, NYX. I believe they had some Urban Decay, although I don't know if they still have that. I think they had one of the Naked palettes. But yeah, so the other night I was browsing online quite late at night and I needed some hair product to replace this one, preferably better than this one. And I came across this one. This is the Organics. I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit shiny. Sorry, I don't want to blind you. This is the Organics Argan Oil of Morocco Penetrating Oil. And it's a unique precious blend of Argan Oil of Morocco which instantly penetrates the hair shaft, restoring shine and softness while creating soft, seductive, silky perfection. And I used it this morning. Um, you're supposed to use it on wet hair but I used it on dry because I was just about to use my curling iron and so I didn't want to have nothing on my ends because my ends are a bit dry and this felt really nice on first impressions so I will continue with that and I think it's going to be really good it definitely seemed really good when I used it this morning this, so I actually went on Beauty Bliss to find that and then while I was there I thought oh well you know if they're shipping that from Wellington I might as well get some other stuff shipped too and this uh, Lime Crime nail polish was on special for ten dollars and this is what I have on my nails right now it is a really um, nice formulation it is called Crema de Limon which I believe translates to cream of lemon and as you can see it's a really nice pale yellow opaque and it goes on really nicely the first coat was a tiny bit streaky definitely a lot better than some I've tried second coat not streaky at all it just smooths over and is beautiful even coloring and I think these are usually about 20 but as I said I got this on special for $10 the next thing I chose was 
this NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. This is it here. And you can't get NYX in New Zealand in stores. So yeah, this is Maple Blondie. And here is a little swatch for you. It's very, um, it's very pigmented. Mmm. Smells like cupcakes. I think. So yeah, it's quite opaque. Um, really nice formulation. It does feel like butter. Only issue with this, I've been wearing it since I got it. That's another thing I have to mention about Beauty Bliss. Amazing. I put in my order at probably 11 o'clock at night on, I think, Tuesday. And I had it within 24 hours, less than 24 hours. I got it the next day. It was amazing. So Beauty Bliss, their shipping, uh, their shipping over $50 is free and it is super, super fast. I can't say enough about their, um, their response time. It was shipped within 12 hours and I had it within 24 hours. So wowzers. And the last thing I got from Beauty Bliss was the Eyes, Lips, Face um, Studio Blush in Pink Passion. Now, I should be wearing this today um, because I actually think this would go quite nicely with my outfit. But um, I don't actually have a very good blush brush right now. In fact, I don't think I have a blush brush at all. But this is the colour that I got. And as far as I can see, let me just take off the little card thing here. Come on. I've heard good things about Islip's face. And you can't buy this in stores over here either. So... But the transfer is not too bad. Oh, that's a bit better. So that's the blush there. So yeah, I think that's going to be really good. I think I just need to get a blush brush because I've got one that's kind of a bronzer and um, another one which goes with a kit. And yeah, so I need a good blush brush. But um, yeah. So I threw that in for good measure because I wanted to try something from Eyes, Lips, Face and I think it's going to be really good. So that is my little, um, I'm not going to call it a haul because to me the word haul is to do with haulage, like trucks and stuff. So I, I think that using the term haul to do with beauty products is just weird to me. So I'm going to call it recent acquisitions. These are my four recent acquisitions. So really, really excited about all those. So thank you for watching and I will be back with my Violet Box video, which I'm hoping to get my August box within the next week. So I will definitely be back and until then, take care. Bye. Mm.